Hello men's thems thems and toasters and welcome back to So This Is Basically Wings of Fire, the series where I summarize each individual book because I have nothing better to do with my life. And as a reminder, this video will contain spoilers for Wings of Fire book 2, The Lost Air. As an additional reminder, because some people were getting mad, this video is not a legitimate summary, just a comedy-based retelling of the most important events. Enjoy! We start off this adventure by watching Tsunami complain every two seconds that Starflight is pathetically trying to lead the group of children instead of her. A group of Skywings flies overhead and one of them sneezes into the ocean, so Tsunami drowns him as a reminder to aim it into his arm next time. No one else appreciates her dedication to manners, however, and they're all mad at her for the rest of the chapter. Later on, Tsunami wants to find someone else to murder and plays charades with an unknown Sea Wing who is noted to be very hot. Unfortunately, he misinterprets her frustration for flirting, a common mistake, really, and gets slapped in the face. His name turns out to be Riptide, because his scales are as gorgeous as the tides in the sea, and he leads them all to the convenient non-underwater palace. Once they arrive, it only takes a couple seconds for Queen Coral to spawn as a boss battle. But before Tsunami can attack, an enemy does a critical hit to her self-esteem by existing, and she is defeated. As a result of this awful loss, her party members are all shoved into a cave where she promptly forgets about them for the rest of the day. Another consequence of losing the battle means she has to listen to the unskippable dialogue of Whirlpool, an annoying NPC who the entire fandom has agreed is absolutely disgusting and deserves to burn in hell. A quick side quest reveals that Kestrel, one of Tsunami's old guardians, has tragically died. For whatever reason, she decides that the mother who welcomed her happily as soon as she saw her would assume the Tsunami had killed Kestrel if she knew, so Tsunami does the stupid thing and says nothing. That's probably fine. A council meeting serves to humiliate Tsunami and make sure the audience knows once again that voting is stupid and violence is good, actually. Also, it turns out the dehydrated fish that she murdered in Scarlet's arena was her dad. Achievement unlocked. More trauma. We swim over to the hatchery to discover that Lagoon, the dragon guarding it, wasn't up to date on her dentist appointments, so Coral graciously helps her out. Also, eggs are dying, and Tsunami wants to save one to make an omelette. Queen Coral thinks this is an awful idea, but lets her do it anyway, and Tsunami finally remembers her friends exist, and rushes over to make some conspiracy theories. Unbeknownst to them, Blister had joined the chat on invisible mode and was watching them the whole time. Oh look, an enemy is an animus! The fact that Sea Wings have animus dragons couldn't possibly have anything to do with the vengeful dragon who donated a mysterious statue to the hatchery and how the eggs are just dying out of nowhere. Let's talk about how she can win the war instead. And speaking of the war, Webbs is here, and it's time for more liar reveal tropes, where Riptide makes it even harder to empathize with him. Coral makes some conspiracy theories of her own, but this makes Tsunami so mad she stomps off to the hatchery to be with her only friend, a literal child. Turns out the statue's not too happy with Tsunami invading its personal space, but it does like to play red light, green light, and gets mad when she wins. The new dragonette, Auklet, decides she wants to play too. This game makes Coral very mad, and she throws the Prophecy Children in jail, where they all receive a second prison token. Soon after, Whirlpool puts his claws in the electrical outlet and gets zapped. Everyone cheers. Tsunami demonstrates her new skill called actually listening to people, and escapes with her friends. A minor detail, but the above-ground palace is fucking burning to the ground. Webbs gets a scratch on his poor little tail, and everyone flies away as fast as possible to get to the next plot point. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to check out more Wings of Fire content in the Ed card below, which should be appearing soon. If you want to help me make stuff like this, or just hang out with some cool people, join the Discord server, the link for which is in the description. Ultimate out!